Well, here's something really cool from the 1980s. It's Apollo's Micro Miniature Train Set. Run your old railroad. It's a self-contained train set. It's approximately like Z-scale size. It's really tiny, but it's all plastic. You have little cars you can put on the tracks right here. It's not actually a track. It's a rotating disc that's underneath the scenery right here. But it's actually pretty cool. It's a 16 by 12 and 3 quarter inch layout. It has 36 railroad cars, working switches, and it is battery powered with four C-cell batteries. See here on the side of the box right here, you can see some of the little features it has. Easy to operate with four reverse action. You got the switch. Mountain tunnels, cool. Working switches. And 36 detailed miniature rail cars. It's a pretty cool set. I never saw one of these in the store. I didn't know about this until probably a few years ago when I ran across one at a flea market, which I didn't pick up. This one I picked up recently. So I decided to go ahead and get one of these and see what it was all about. So inside the box, of course, we have the instructions. It's just a one-page instruction sheet here. Basically tells about how to put the batteries in the bottom of the unit, how to couple the little cars, how to work the track switches and the little staging gates right there, which I'll explain here in a minute. And the power controls are four in reverse. Pretty cool. So here it is inside the box itself. I'll, I'll bust out here in a second. So here's a bunch of little rail cars. These little nice little storage units here. We'll get one of these cars out real quick. And you can see it's basically just a little, little square of plastic is all it is. And there's one that's got the little running, whoops, got the little running trucks on it. So you can see the black bottom here is the running trucks. We got the hooks right here to hook two of them together. This is a little box car. It's kind of cool and it just sits right down inside the scenery like that. And as that disc spins, it just moves around with the disc. It's kind of a cool concept. So here's a nice look at the board itself, the train layout. So you have your staging gates right here. They have little slide switches. So you can actually keep a train parked here. Then when you open the gate, it'll come out and go in. Then we have our switches here, which you can direct which way the train's going to go. Got the big ones on the side here to go into the staging areas. It's pretty awesome. Let's take this thing out of the box and take a closer look. All right, now here's the train set out of the box. I got a couple trains set up here in the little staging gates. When you look at these little gates right here, they have little slide levers on top. That allows you to open and close these little gates right here to keep trains staged in here if you want to. So right now i got these two gates closed. Then we have our switches to divert which way you want the train to go. We can send it to the inner loop or keep it on the outer loop. All that kind of good stuff. We've got three more switches over here to go to our different staging ramps. We have some various scenery here. We have our our uh, main building here it has the motor inside of it. Our oil fields, some other different businesses and industries and everything. Got a couple really cool tunnels right there. It's pretty awesome. Of course, our forward and reverse switch is right here. And as it spins around every once in a while, it'll make like a whistle sound, which is kind of neat. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect that they did on this. It's actually a pretty cool toy. Uh, like I said, it came out in the mid-80s, somewhere around in there. Uh, I was already into cars and running around, cruising and stuff, so this totally bypassed my radar. And I think it was only in specialty toy stores. I never never saw these like at Toys R Us or anything like that. Matter of fact, I've never seen one before until uh, a few years ago when I saw one uh, at a flea market that I didn't pick up because uh, it was not all there. So I found another one and got it to make this video. So enough of that rambling. Let's turn this thing on and watch the trains go around. So right now, the gates are closed. I'll open up the first gate. Let's turn the switch. Off goes the first train. We'll send him to the outside loop. There he goes, chugga, 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 chugga. Now we'll release the second train to keep him on the inside loop. And there he goes. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh, got stuck. It happens every once in a while. They're very particular going around this thing because it's, you know, it's a friction toy. So any little hang up they have on the sides right there will cause them to stall like that. But it's still pretty awesome. I, mean, I like the outside loop with the curves and everything and the two tunnels. So cool. 
So now we're going to park this train back into its, uh, we're going to put him in this upper staging area right there. So he'll come in. Just like so. And now we'll send this train to the outside loop. It goes really slow towards the center because the disc isn't moving as fast. So we'll come out, come around, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. And away he goes to the outside loop. Hey, there he goes. That is so cool. Let's go ahead and send this train back out on the outside loop too. Uh oh, hurry up, the other one's coming. There we go. Yes! <laughs> Traffic control on the railroad. Okay, we'll send the red one to the inside loop. And we'll park it. Just like so. Then when this green one comes around, we'll send him to the outside staging gate area to park him. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Check it, 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 check it. That is so cool. It's actually a pretty cool toy. Like I said, it's very small, you know, Z scale size basically. Fun little thing to put on the desktop and play around with every once in a while. It is a very noisy toy, as you can hear, that motor spinning and that whistle going off every once in a while. But it's still a great piece of toy history. Anyway, that's the Apollo Micro Miniature Railroad Train Set. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Remember, you can tell it's Mattel. It's well. Okay, let them go. Some of the great SSP racers for 72. M A R X spelled Mark, world's largest toy maker. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. And remember, if it isn't Duncan, it isn't Yo-Yo.